got to go to everybody. My name's Karina. And it is time to get up, stand up, and not give up the fight. I'm here today to represent all the unseen that cannot be seen and heard. I am here today to represent the ocean, the ocean life, the land, the trees. All these things are reliant on these trade deals not going through and they don't have a voice. So today I carry two flags. This flag is to represent all the healers of many tribes, all the people of all race and creed, to all stand up and fight this fight to save our planet Earth. This other flag I carry was a flag, a flag that our forebears all had. They worked in peace before the rules were made. One of the things I'm going to talk and represent are the trees. When the trees, because there's something that's really affecting us in this trade deals and everything going on, they were round. And when they grew and were round, everything flowed. When the trees were cut down, they made paper. And in this paper was created corners and boundaries. Within those corners and boundaries became laws, statutes, and all sorts of things that we know today that has encaptured us, that we live by, that create all these deals. Today they're cutting down up the east coast trees and falling them into our oceans. They're loading them onto barges and onto ships out there. Well, Tauranga here is a very important place because this is where the Matatua canoe came in and the first trade deals went down. We are of the first light nation here, so we are first off the ranks for all trade. Today we started our march at the farmer's market and I thank all the marchers for coming and marching with us. That was an appropriate place to start because trade began in a marketplace. It's the oldest tradition next to prostitution. Trade goes on, but if we go back to the old way of trade and trade amongst ourselves like the barter system, that's a better way of trade than the trade these corporations deal out to us. If we break down the words and look at the words that they use, there's a lot of hidden truth in words that we, the average person, don't think about. The word corporation, corpse, dead, or right, to talk. So these corporations are entities made up of dead men talking. <laughs> I want to remind you all that we are the living people, we are the living beings, we are the living state, the state of being. These corporations cannot take away our breath of life, just as they keep trying to take away our trees and everything that are dumbing us down. We really have to start waking up. We have corporate deals that are taking over our arena and leaving it on our reef. We've got to stand up against these people, and we can with the power of the people. The kids in America, there's two little boys, Exolotl Martez and his little brother. They've created a movement called RISE. They've created this movement because the adults do not have substance behind their words. We speak, but we don't really act. So the kids are getting out there. They bound their mouth with tape, and that silence spoke loudly to all the kids around the world. So out there, the kids are standing up and they're correcting our future that the adults are not taking seriously. With our trees, with them going down, what we don't think about, they're the creators of our life, our life force that we live by. If we just take something simply like our planet and we combine it to a car or liken it to a car, a car, if we don't put the water in and we don't put the oil in, the car will overheat. The oil, if we don't put the oil in the car, the car will eventually seize up. So what we're doing, and these corporate people that are coming in, they're mining us, they're fracking us, they're destroying our water and everything we live under. By taking our water, the planet Earth is starting to show all the rumbles by its mass earthquakes and everything. By allowing them to extract all our minerals and oil, we're seeing what the effects are having. We're seeing our planet heating up. We can't let it to continue. I come from a place down in the middle of the island called Mount Ruapehu and down there our punas which feed the Waikato River, which feed the Rangitike, which feed the Wanganui River, 
Our corners, our springs down there are drying up. On the east coast, they're fracking. I was up there over the summer and asked what the trucks were bringing out. They were bringing out fracking waste, which is going across to Taranaki and put on our pastures. These deals that are going on are going on behind our backs and we've got to start waking up because our Mother Earth cannot take much more. We the people are the backbone and we the people, if we get together and unite, we become common unity. That's what makes communities. We then create the common wealth. We've got to stop these governments taking the liberty and lying to us. They're feeding us on a bunch of lies. We've got to start really questioning and really saying, we're not going to take this because we're getting up and we're standing up. Hang on, I'll just look at my notes. They make laws, and one of the common laws, and all the laws, based are, all the laws are based on Ten Commandments, but one of the laws, laws is the most consistent law of all time was to love your brother as your brother, love your neighbour as your neighbour. So while they're destroying us and destroying our planet and destroying schools, destroying our food crops, destroying all these things, they're not honouring that commandment which they put into law which all governments or banks or things, they come under an oath that they swear to. So we really have to wake up people and we have to get to people in a way that people can identify these things because it's happening and the car is a classic that we can tell a neighbour or we can tell someone about how all this works. People don't understand the legislations and things behind but if we look at the simplicity of delivering, we can do that. So we have to look at the commonality of the things around us that are happening so we can get that message out there. Everything works in song and vibration. And the thing is the songs work because everybody everywhere understands the song and they're singing a loud song and that's what they want is Mother Earth to keep going because without it we don't have life. So all these things don't matter. We've got to start really caring about our Mother Earth and everything in it and stop these corporations, these dead men talking, because we are the living people. We are the trees. We know our roots. We are the branches that to continue on. The kids are the branches of us, and so we've got to really stand firm. Otherwise, we're going to see our whole lives erode away. Um, yeah. In saying all these things, there's something greater we've got to look at. Because they've used the pen as a sword and in writing all the things, they've created that sword against us. But we've got to pull out to them and say to them, it's time, we've got a message for you and that's to lay down your arms. They're sending our innocent men overseas to fight and that can't happen. They're putting all these poisons to kill us, that can't happen. But we've got to start bringing peace because without peace they're going to carry on and if we keep feeding them with anger and feeding them with war it's going to keep continuing because there's a saying we put out there what we attract back so we've got to change our thinking as people so my challenge out there is to all the healers to all those people who really care it's time for us the guardians of the earth to really stand up and step up and for all those who care enough walk with us because it is time we can't let our planet die so it is time to exercise peace. It is only at peace do we get all our natural benefits and natural rights. And that's the law that they all forget, that we live under a natural divine law and that law will win in the end. In all prophecies, they always say, the meek shall inherit the earth. So us the people, if we listen to our hearts and we follow and join together and unite, we will inherit our earth back. And these corporates can't rule. So as people have been the backbone, it is time for us to get up and stand for our rights. Thank you.